Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Thursday. For those uh, that don't actually know what day of the week it is, we're still going. We're still in this. It is day 34 of my uh, daily online check-in. Day 34 of thinking about thinking. And I, I reflect on just even that statement, thinking about thinking, how often do we even think about our thoughts? And when I created this online course five years ago, I'm just looking at the day, April 23rd, it really was my journey for how did I uh, outwit, overcome, and really integrate fear into my life to be able to do my best to live a life of joy, live a life of love. Uh, and at the same time, I did it to uh, release a book, release my third book at the time. And today we're day six of always do your best. Always do your best is challenging. It's challenging for the best of us. And today's lesson title, uh, it started off with how can I do my best better? Because we all have different uh, versions and definitions of what is our best. And sometimes it's, it's really about that 1% more. How can we just elevate ourselves? If, you know, today is a day where your best is staying in bed with the covers over your head and ignoring the world, then that's your best. But tomorrow, how can we make that a little bit better. And the easiest answer to how can I do my best better is just make better choices. If you find that you are filled with anxiety and fear and doubt and self-criticism, how does your day start? Is the first thing you do reach out for your phone and scroll social media and see how perfect everyone else's life is and see how amazing everyone else is and then compare it to yourself? Well, chances, that's not a really good choice if you don't want to be surrounded with anxiety and fear and self-doubt and criticism. So in today's lesson, I created this litany of all the different things that you could possibly do to do your best better. And I know for me, especially in these new times, my routine, I'm loving not having had set an alarm for over a month. I wake up whenever I'm ready to wake up and I go pour a cup of coffee and then I go back to bed and I listen to a motivational uplifting podcast. And it really does set the tone for the rest of my day. And it reminds me back in 2008, fall of 2008, my father was diagnosed with cancer. And I undertook in 2009 to read the Bible every day for 365 days. I subscribed to an email service that basically emailed me uh, writing a piece of uh, the text every day for a year. So within 365 days, I read the Bible cover to cover, from Genesis 1 to the end of Revelations. And what I noticed about halfway through that year is regardless of what I read, it always stuck with me for the rest of my day. It either inspired me, sometimes it made me angry, a lot of the times it left me curious, but it always improved my mood. It always it gave me something to think about for the rest of the day. So I encourage you, Tomorrow, if you want your best to be even a percent better than what it was today, pay attention to how you start your day. And as the day goes on, if you find yourself getting lost in those negative thought patterns, again, stop. Think about your thinking. Why are you thinking what you're thinking? And what led you to be thinking like that? Was it negative experiences that led you down a rabbit hole? Or are you continually filling yourself up with positives? 
Our minds are these fascinating tools. And the bottom line is we've got one life. Yes, we're all under a social lockdown. We're all under isolation. We're now living a new reality. But at the end of the day, it's still our life to live. And it's short. I think about the length of the time that you and I are on this planet. It's only a hundred years, usually, like at most, maybe less, maybe more. But it's our choice as to whether we want to make it meaningful and what we want to do with it. So it's our choice to be the best and live our best life possible. I love you a lot. I hope everyone is safe and healthy. And until tomorrow, be kind to yourself and to others.